What's good, family? It's your boy Pockets bringing y'all another video. And today, my man Barack Obama warned us about this COVID 19 in 2014, man. Now, I ain't watched the video yet, but we're going to get right into it because uh, this ain't my usual video, but just bringing awareness, man. I've been telling my wife I miss Obama. My fault, I was talking. Really? Say that nobody saw the pandemic coming. Really? Well, here's a warning from President Barack Obama back in 2014. There may and likely will come a time in which we have both an airborne disease that is deadly. And in order for us to deal with that effectively, we have to put in place an infrastructure, not just here at home, but globally, that allows us to see it quickly, isolate it quickly, respond to it quickly. Wow. So if and when a new strain of flu, like the Spanish wow. flu, crops up five years from now or a decade from now, we've made the investment. Bro. And we're further along to be able to catch it. Come on, bruh. Man, and all of y'all, dog, this is this is why I hate this political shit. I do not get into this shit at all because Barack Obama was a great president. Like, one of the best we ever had. And I'm not saying that because he's black, first black president, or because he's this, because he that. Man, dude was a man of the people. He was trying to help us, man. Like... People, a lot of people don't like him because he wanted to take away guns and do all of this shit. I mean, I, I get it. I get y'all reasons, but I don't think that was the only reason, but I'm not even going to get into that shit. It started a big argument. I don't, I ain't here for that shit. But the thing is, this man Trump does not know what he's doing, bro. This dude just sit up there, even like, I think I've listened to, I listened to Obama more than any president. Like he has so much swag, like he come in there. And y'all seen him, man, because no, don't nobody really, especially if you a street nigga like I used to be, you feel me? Like, you don't watch this type of shit. But Obama just had something about him. You just had to watch him. He had come in there to do his little uh, union addresses or whatever. And he's, you know, smiling. He's shaking hands and doing all that. Like, he was really loved. And it's because of his work and his research and all of that that he put into this, man. That dude, this dude, Trump just, I don't know what the hell he wants, bro. Like, he just wants to be powerful. And when you give a goofy nigga power, bro, like, it just kills, it kills everything. Especially when you make him the top head of all of our shit. Like, that's straight crazy. Because if you listen to this man's speeches, like... Dude don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Like, the shit that he be saying, I be like, I be listening to it like, I can get up there and say the same shit. Like, all he's doing is really reacting to questions. He's not giving no kind of facts and shit. You can tell he's reading something that somebody read for him. And if he don't like it, you know, he kind of make it into what he would say. And it's, I don't even get why people fuck with dude. I mean... I get y'all saying it's more jobs, this and that. All of this shit playing off what Obama did, bro. Like, y'all got to understand, the previous presidents set up the way for the new president. And this dude just tore shit down. Like, this dude, this dude Trump just tore shit down. And it's, it's horrible right now. Like, nobody trusts him. Like, he don't know what he's doing. He go from saying this shit doesn't even matter to now, oh my God, it's crazy and I don't trust the Chinese and all of this. And now he's got them. Now he's blaming the Chinese for the shit and it's bullshit because it's like, I mean, I don't, I don't know who to blame, but it just seemed like he's pointing the finger to get the heat off himself because he didn't react quicker. He didn't think it was serious. And this was in 2014 and what he said in five years or a decade from now, Obama did. And look, in 2019, the shit came. Like, he saw this way before it happened. Like, Trump couldn't even see something that was fucking four months away. You know what I'm saying? Like, being a president and a leader, you got to be able to see stuff like this, man. And you got to be able to react to it fast. And be because the thing is, 
you are the leader of this country. No matter if people like you or not, you are the leader of this country. You have to lead. Lead by example, man. Do your fucking job. And I ain't gonna talk y'all head off, but hey, go shout out shout out to my man SNTV18 for um this is I believe this is a second channel, but dude got very good information on shit, just about all the Chicago street shit. Um, but hey, this is a good find right here. So hey, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the video, man. It's been your boy Pockets.